हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आवर सेवेंथ लेसन दैट इज इंटॉक्सिकेशन इंटॉक्सिकेशन सेक्शन एटी फाइव एंड सेक्शन एटी सिक्स इट इज सेड दैट ड्यू टू इंटॉक्सिकेशन द रैशनल थिंकिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ पर्सन लोअर्स ड्यू टू इंटॉक्सिकेशन द मेंटल कंडीशन इज इनकेपेबल ऑफ फॉर्मिंग मैंसरिया मैंसरिया दैट मीन्स गिल्टी माइंड there are two types of intoxication section 85 act of a person incapable of judgment by reason of intoxication caused against his will and this is called as involuntary intoxication in this nothing is an offense which is done by a person who at the time of doing it is by a reason of intoxication incapable of knowing the nature of the act or that he is doing what is either wrong or contrary to law provided that the thing which intoxicated him was administered to him without his knowledge or against his will what that means it means that if someone is forced or a fraud is done without his knowledge then the then and after that he commits crime then he can avail the defense of sex involuntary intoxication that is section 85 that comes under general exception now section 86 offense requiring a particular intent or knowledge committed by one who is intoxicated and this is known as voluntary intoxication in this in cases where an act done is not an offense unless done with a particular knowledge or intent a person who does the act in a state of intoxication shall be liable to be dealt with as if he di- he had the same knowledge as he would have had if he had not been intoxicated unless the thing which intoxicated him without his knowledge or against his will what that means it means that if the person who had done the crime had knowledge in his knowledge he had uh, gone to club and he had uh, taken some drinks then he would be guilty and he he has uh, no right or no general defense you can say to avail thank you friend